Hello, my name is Larry Stimson. This is part four of my video series on internet video players. In my previous video, I showed you how to use the Vimeo player parameters. In this video, I'll show you how to build your own internet video player. When HTML5 was released, it included a new video element. Since then, most browsers have been upgraded to read HTML5. To see how well your browser supports HTML5, visit https colon forward slash forward slash html5 test.com adding an html5 video player to your web page could not be easier in this example i'll open dreamweaver and create a new html document if you want web browsers to know your document is html5 specific change the doc type to simply HTML and change the meta to simply UTF-8. In between the body tags, I'll insert the new HTML5 video tag and add a controls attribute. Then I'll close the tag. Now, in between the video tags, I'll insert a source tag. This will include the location of my video file. I'll save the file. Now I'll test the web page in my browser. I'll scroll down to find the controls. And I'll click on the play button. The problem, of course, is that the video is too big to fit on this page. I'll resize it by adding height and width attributes like this. And to help browsers determine what type of video this is, I'll insert a type attribute in the source tag. I'll save the file, reload my browser, now that's better. I've designed a new web page and set aside space specifically for a video player. I'll open this page in Dreamweaver and insert my video tag here. I need to identify this player for functions that I'm going to write, so I'll insert an ID attribute and name it Video1. I'll also give my video a title, which I'll call Ferrari Shell Commercial. Now I'll insert the source file, and add the type attribute. I'll save the file, reload my browser, and play my video. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how you could cause your video to start automatically by inserting the autoplay attribute. The same is true with the HTML5 video player. Inside the video tag, right after the player ID, I'll insert the autoplay attribute. Autoplay does not require a value setting. Simply adding the word will cause the video to autoplay. I'll save the file, reload my browser, and the video starts to play automatically. Just like the autoplay attribute, you can cause your video to replay by simply inserting the loop attribute within the video tag. Here I'll insert loop right after autoplay. I'll save the file and reload my browser.
Now I'll scrub ahead near the end of the video. And the video begins to play all over again. In my next video, I'll show you how you can add custom controls to your internet video player. If you like to control things, I think you'll enjoy this video. Please join me again.